And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Jeskai Control in Historic. That's right, we have a donation deck to try out this Jeskai Control list that's a little different from like your normal control list that you're playing. The, th the thing about this deck is this deck is really focused on um, attacking with Gideon Blackblade and Rekindling Phoenix through your own Wraths. You know, like we have, you know, Cleansing Novas, Realm Cloak Giant, uh, Clarions. We have a lot of Wraths that we're, we're trying to sweep the board here with our seven Wraths, but still have uh, Gideon and Rekindling Phoenix. Because, you know, even if you destroy the battlefield, Rekindling Phoenix will come back. You know, Gideon doesn't is going to be indestructible on your turn, so it doesn't matter. And so, you know, like we're putting pressure on our opponent with these where we can still clean up the board anyway. To back up the, our threats, we also have some counter magic. We got a little, we got some quench that we can use early. We got ionizes that like later on we'll be able to um, to have to be able to protect them. Um, we got Ixalan's Binding, which is really good in this format. Like there's a lot of you know red and a lot of gruel, and those decks don't have any ways to deal with enchantments. And you know if you can Ixalan's Binding like a questing beast, you don't have to worry about that questing beast coming back ever again. Hey Hawkeye, you gonna come up here? Um, even against like the Esper, Esper usually has like Big Teferi and Little Teferi, but if you could, you know, if you can Ixalan binding both, then you really don't have to worry about, like, don't have to worry as much about them getting rid of your binding. The other thing this deck has is, um, you know, three mana Teferi to instant speed your Wraths, you know, so we can cast these, um, Wraths at instant speed and do it on end step so that like our, you know, like if we do that, like with Rekindling Phoenix, our Phoenix will come back right away and it's easier to uh, make sure that they're not killing our uh, little egg that we're leaving with rekindling phoenix so a little bit different take on on a control deck kind of being being aggressive some as well <clears throat> but that could be pretty good um that could be pretty good sideboard we got a lot of counter magic for the control matchup we got vetoes and then we also have some spell pierce and some mystical dispute kind of splitting those up um for like one mana interaction in control matchups against red and gruel we got we got baffling ends to bring in so we have uh removal on turn two extra clarion we got an extra binding also and then some lyra Dawnbringers that maybe they're not expecting so that's what our deck's all about all right so let's let's play some games so even though this is a donation deck we're going to be playing this over in ranked because the way to play uh, best two out of three in oh wait, wait no cancel 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 oh that was close the way to play best two out of three in historic is through ranked so there we go that was close so we're gonna play like Four or five matches, depending on how long it takes. Probably five matches. Yeah, Hawkeye's here. Oh, y'all can't see Hawkeye. He just jumped up here. Hawkeye. He still got a real runny nose, like he got, like he started having yesterday again. I'm gonna call the call the vet tomorrow. You know, it's Sunday today. Hey, Dark Dubs. i to make sure everything's going going just fine. Because even his, his, like, purring and, and everything and just his breathing, he kind of, he sounds real nasally. No, he, he doesn't seem like he can blow his nose. I can tell, like, the, uh, this is a good card, but, like, underneath his chin is, like, his hair is a little crusty because of, of the snot going down. Man, such an aggressive start. Save us, Phoenix. Is 
So it looks like mono green splash counter magic. Give us a little bit of a reprieve there. But being stuck on lands, it looks like this quench could be useful. Long ways away from flipping as Kanta. So if I attack, I die to Questing Beast now. Uh, yeah, you never seen the Phoenix before? Yeah, Rekindling Phoenix is an awesome card. No, don't give him those lands. Ugh, need a spell. Alright, well, they have a haste creature, I die, but if not, we have a good chance of winning this. Nah. So close. So close. So I'm expecting counter magic from them. I'm not sure about it. If, I'm not sure about how much I, I want Gideon Blackblade for this matchup. I keep one Gideon in. Hmm. I don't want to mind Mystical Dispute to kind of protect against their counter magic. Yeah, that's that's the thing is, yeah, Questing Beast certainly hurts Gideon. But that's the same thing with Teferi. Teferi isn't great here either. Teferi Time Raveler. I should play Hero Dominaria. Maybe we should play Insight. Give me that card advantage. I'm going to cut Teferi and Gideon. Basically cutting all the Planeswalkers. I don't, I don't like them. Quest and Beast makes them tough. It's more Hawkeye. Look how cute you are. You're so adorable. Less me, more Hawkeye. <laughs> he 
He likes Liv's microphone. Well, Struck Beast is quite the three drop. You know, playing that on turn two that doesn't doesn't come anywhere close to dying to Clarion. Seems like they are, they're only playing three cards. They're just playing Land War Elf, Love Struck Beast, and, quest, and Questing Beast. They're just playing like 10 of each card. Have a different card. I wish I had one more mana to have Mystical to speed up also. I'm going to get the Phoenix in play. Ah. See, there we go. Told you they were going to have counter, counter spells post board. Mystical Dispute came in clutch. Four four. Down here to be in the camera. Do do. Lyra. Yeah, we got Lyra with counterspell backup, okay?
Certainly risking it here, this attack. The bad part about that sequence is we didn't is that we did put another ionize down to the bottom. Deal five and take nine. I guess I could have attacked with Rekindling Phoenix first. Yeah, that's 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 me that's me being impatient there. Right, I need to attack with Rekindling Phoenix first. If I attack here, I go to nineteen, they go to twelve. Yeah, this is good. I probably could have attacked with both first. Uh, they they may have blocked with graces though. So they could attack back for nine. Yeah, it's if they would have blocked, we would have lost the phoenix. But then at that point, oh, that hurts. Well, I'm glad I attacked. I am Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. Oh, why didn't I? I could have just activated this thing first. I mean, it, quench is like my only card to grab, but they still would have had quench mana. But I could have still activated. My aim and their claws. You're done. That's good. Just get this thing out of here. I don't want them to play like... I don't know, another creature put more counters on it, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna get that Vivian out of here. This game lined up pretty well for us. It's gonna be tough winning game three on the draw. Why not? Okay, so the Great Henge. Great Henge is really scary. I mean, Binding can still answer it, and so can Nova. I don't want to play Veto instead of Quench. says H D D R 
Oh, that. Oh, that. They... This is in the wrong spot. There's no Nicol Bolas in this deck. This is a Jeskai deck. There's no black. Gonna try to have Clary on this turn. Alright. It's not the worst thing. Stop casting Hydro Crisis. Bad. Hydro, Cras Hydro Crisis is bad, okay? Hopefully they got more of those stuck in hand. That last card is another another Hydroid Crisis. Sure, these mystical disputes are going to really be able to counter stuff. Ugh. That's not a card I want to see at all right now. Shifting Ceratops. We had so many good, good cards that we could draw to deal with it. Another Binding Phoenix, Lyra, Sweeper. But we did not get any of those. Dang. That was the that was the perfect card for them to draw with you know with me having ionized mystical dispute, mystical dispute. That was the one card I did not have covered. Ugh. Yep. That's how today's been going so far. We turn it around. That's how today's been going. What do you mean, how many lands do you need if you only have beacons and no black lands to cast Nicol Bolas? I mean, like, how many other... Like, I don't understand. The The beacon can only add one black each, so you'd have to have three beacons in play to cast it. Because you, you have to add different colors of mana with a beacon. I couldn't I couldn't kill the Ceratops. I had Baffling End in hand for removal. Baffling End exiles creatures that have CMC three or less. Ceratops has CMC of four. Deafening Clarion dealt three damage. Ceratops had four toughness.
Gideon just doesn't do anything here. Gideon's going to be good against control decks, but against these creature decks, Gideon just really doesn't do anything. I mean, they still have a Danto Vanguard. I don't know what I'm even doing. I don't know why I'm still playing this. I can't I can't beat a Danto Vanguard, even if we draw Clarion. We have to have this exile removal for uh Danto Vanguard. I do like Teferi Time Raveler better here. They don't have as much haste. You know, like they're not playing quest questing B Ceratops, they don't have the haste. Hey, Arcane Fox. Happy holidays. Oh, wow. Arcane Fox. Come with big gift and subs. Gifting out 10 subs. Welcome to all the brand new subs to the channel. Where does that... That gets us to Storm Counts 12 today. I was one behind. It's our, th our third sub goal towards the next 12 hour stream. Thank you so much. Um. All right, we're gonna cut those and we're gonna cut one as Kanta. I don't know, Ascanta's really good at just two mana. There you go. Alright, here we go. Thank you so much, Arcane Fox. Okay, so for the... Uh, we do have a 12-hour stream in the queue, basically, up in the docket. And for that... For that, I you know I've been thinking about when I when I'm going to be doing that. For that, I'm, I'm planning on doing that on on the first. I think we're going to do a new a New Year's 12-hour stream. So I think my my plan of like how things are just going to be able to work should be 20. Why is that zero not showing up? There it is. is normal stream tomorrow and then i think i'm gonna take the 31st off and not stream on the 31st and then stream on the first for the 12 hour stream all right we need another land for binding and for phoenix we need red source uh how do you get the sub only discord you just have to link your discord account and your twitch account together and it's automatic it can take like an hour to actually link, but it's automatic. Just gotta link those together. All right, get Vanguard out of here. Still need that other red source, though. They can still put Vanguard into play off of Soren. So that's something they could do. All right, so the, the Hallowed Fountain means that I can now activate Castle Ardenville or Castle Vantress. We can activate either one. All right, so basically, I can either block and be at 14, or I can go to 12 and activate the Vantress and double scry. I think we'll double scry. We'll take two for that. All right, good. We'll take both those cards.
Now I wish I would have just activated the castle to save two life. Ideally, we draw land here. This isn't a fight you can win. Trust me, I have a plan. Darn. Then I could have played a Phoenix, also. That was a good turn for them. <clears throat> yeah, Seal Away doesn't get Questing Beast either. Um, I did Baffle again because you get to play it on turn two more often. And, you know, you just get to play it on turn two, exile the two, the two mana card. Um, if you think about something like a Danto Vanguard, you get rid of it. If they if they kill your enchantment, they just get a 3-3 three, three back. They don't get their card back. Five over there right now. Good call. Now we'll be able to flip Ascanta next turn. Attack. This is pretty cool. So Phoenix puts a lot of pressure on them. I guess I should not have flipped as Kanta. Basically, the reason to flip as Kanta though is if they had they'd found like another Mortify. But now I like I'm not activating as Kanta this turn. I don't need that extra mana for anything. I could have just kept that unflipped and then had the whole Scry thing next turn. So they're down to six. They can't activate it onto Vanguard too much more. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, funny using those bolt sleeves. Get him, Phoenix. Get him. Not have four life to pay anymore. Now they're at two, and we got Castle Arden Veil vale still. It's like the. It's risky just even playing that. Like I could just you know not play, the Clarion and just you know make it so they can't just draw removal for my O one, but because we have Castle Arden Veil, vale, um, I'm just fine with it and just getting rid of the, the vicious Conquistador before it's doing its attack end and stuff like that too. <clears throat> so basically, because of Castle Ardvale, vale, I get to make that play. All right, so they do have a bunch of Mortifies. That blow up my enchantments. And kill my Dawnbringers. 
that's not cool. I'm gonna play two vetoes and one quench and cut it to fairy. Cut it to fairy and a quench for a couple of vetoes. I think later on in the game I'm gonna want veto. Well, hopefully, no Adanto Vanguard. And hopefully, a shock land for us. No, so I, th I think that, like, they'll have, like, the mana to pay. Yay, no Adanto Vanguard. They'll have the mana to pay. For like quench and spell pierce, so I wanted. Um, veto. Ugh, this isn't good either, though. Never mind. Okay. Come on, Shockland. Shockland. Darn. That really hurt. This is a turn. We needed Clarion here. Oh, come on. And then they drew Vanguard? Yuck. I bestow a mighty curse. Hey, what's up, Mike? Um, no, I don't. I don't know what you're what you're referring to. So we're just taking lethal here now. We needed to play this last turn. Like if we if we would have drawn Shockland last turn, we could have played this, and then we would have had Ixlon's Binding for this turn. But this Shockland here, we needed it last turn. But now this this is just lethal. Like we're dead because of Soren's second tick up. Uh, donation decks I don't usually play in ranked, but with historic, that's the only way to play them. Usually, donation decks I just play in elite. Thank you for your service. Yeah, I already got the Mythic Qualifier Storm, so yeah, we're good. I don't have to worry about my rank too much. The problem with Settle the Wreckage is, is Gruul Spellbreaker. You know, like that's... Um, you know, Gruul Spellbreaker is a very, very highly played card. Gruul is probably the most, most played aggro deck. And it makes playing Settle pretty tough. That and Settle's not that difficult to play around. I'm not going to any events, Dalo. I am real Darrow. Yes. Yep. I'm doing good. Oh, it was a video, Mike. I didn't I didn't see that that word video in your in your uh, sentence. But no, I hadn't seen that. No, I don't really want a green screen. So we got 26 land. Oh, thanks, Dalla. Um, how's Hawkeye doing? He's 
I don't know. He's doing okay, but you know, yesterday he um, his nose started running again, and it's still running today. And so I'm going to be calling the vet tomorrow morning to kind of check up and see. Um, he struggled with his breakfast this morning. Also. Yeah, Hawkeye's the cat. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Dalo. I'm so sorry to hear. I wonder if we can go 0 and 20 today. So this is 67. If they have Merfolk Trickster, then Rekindling Phoenix can get shut down. I know, I know. I, I had so much luck yesterday in the sub battle day. Use it all up. Yes, that's best. Yeah, that's best of one. Yeah, there's you can play historic in the play queue for best with best of one, but not best of three. So you can there's yeah. So you, your choices are either unranked best of one or ranked best of three. Those are the only choices. That's not that big a deal, Dollar. It's all good.
All right, hopefully we draw a land here. We can play Teferi with Spell Pierce back up. And resolve it to Teferi, hopefully. Yay. Be worried about, you know, like multiple mystical disputes. I can go longer. Stand by and watch. Let's try this. That's pretty important. Mu Yanling? Alright, I wasn't wasn't expecting Mu Yanling, but Yeah, Mu Mu Yanling's awesome here. I'll protect you. So Lyra would be nice to be able to try to fight Mu Yanling, but I don't want to play Lyra before I would play Cleansing Nova. That doesn't make a lot of sense. No, you're you're okay, Mr. Dang Dang. It's okay. I don't. I don't value my my rank too too highly. It's all good. Um. Yeah. I I buy packs. Um. To get the new cards. Drafting is better value, and if I wanted to spend less money, I'd be I'd be drafting. But I want to play standard right away, and everything for for the stream. Here we go. Oh, I, I guess I just didn't really think about playing Cleansing Nova at instant speed. I just, I guess I just, I just didn't really think about it. Sorry, yeah, that that would have been a better play. Mu Yanling could cause some trouble. But how you been, Mike? I got... I finally got to approved for the loan and everything, and so now I have to... Uh, um... message uh the person you told me to message i gotta message him again i'd like to stay out of this but i'll fight <clears throat> if i must now well your temper need a sweeper that mu yanling this is gonna be tough sorry i'm late that's more like it Need to find a sweeper. Wow, they're just going to play right into a sweeper, though. If I draw one. Assuming they minus. Okay, so they're not, they're not minusing. Yeah, for, for getting a new house. Uh, not that sweeper, though. Should have been more exact. I've got it. Yeah, 
a cleansing nova. Quell your temper. No, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this Mugan Lang right now. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Right on schedule. No, I am not making this up as I go. Oh, you did? You moved? Bow to the howling winds. This game looks pretty over. Just because Mu Yanling Ultimate. It's going to be really difficult to beat. Let me quench your curiosity. Yeah, Mike, you'll have to let me know where you moved to. And everything. Oh, I, I meant to counter that, but oh well. Not that big of a deal. I guess it could be. Sorry, I got flustered. Because, yeah, all the houses I was looking at were ones right around you. Or where it used to be. All right, I should have countered that. I don't think it really matters with Mu Yanling Ultimate. Yeah, I, I really need to counter that. That was I got that was this. bad by me. Gotcha. That's really, that's cool. That's cool, Mike. That's that's really cool. All right, Lear, don't bring her, save me. Obviously, that, that's all turned on because I didn't counter this Tempest Gen. Ugh, I really wish I would have miscal cast the Miskal Dispute on the Tempest Gen. Who knows? Maybe I could have had this if I would have countered the Gen and you know, be unable to keep Teferi in play. Maybe I could have. But they'd have, you know, infinite tap their land, draw a card.
means to victory. Yeah, they didn't. Didn't tick up on Lyra. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. If I don't attack, I die. Because right, Mu Yanling makes the Lyra not have flying and I die. I'm obviously still very close to, to dying. But I would have definitely been dead if I don't attack. This emblem. It's something else. Baffling end is good. Who knows? Maybe I could have... Maybe I could have won this. If I would have just mystical disputed that, that first Tempest Gen. Who knows? Maybe I could have. Yeah, I just, I mean, easy, yeah, easy six, if, if that would actually happen, that would have been the best case scenario, but, I mean, I guess we, we could have tried it, but I don't really see that happening. If I shock, then I have Ionize plus as Kanto or Chemistry's Inside available. If I attack for five, I'm taking eight back. Well, I guess I'm only taking. I guess I would have only taken seven.
Dive down. Invictus! Thank you so much, Invictus. You want historic dragons? Thanks for that resub there. Yeah, I, I do think that if I would have protected the first Teferi, I could have won this. Like, how this is actually kind of played, I think that I, I probably still could have could have won this even through the mystical... Like, if I would have mystical disputed that first Tempest Gen. <clears throat> I think I could have had this. Even with all of the those card draws, we've actually gone through more cards. We have 30 left. They have 32 left. We've gone through more cards. One and two. Why are they not tapping their castles? Why are they tapping their islands? These castles are just don't do anything besides cast stuff. Two veto so far. Well, that's a big threat out of there. Yeah, we're playing Historic right now. My opponent has a Mu Yanling emblem that allows them to just tap an island and draw a card. Which is why they're able to just draw all those cards. There's... One Tempest Gen left.
I think I would have had a chance if I would have just countered that Tempest Gen. Kind of crazy. But I think I would have had a chance. Yeah, Lyra and Rick couldn't link Phoenix. They're doing a really bad job tapping their mana. I mean, if they want to draw other cards. <clears throat> We are at 21 cards in library. We are at <clears throat> We're at 25. Getting a sulfur falls out of here, you know, because of Azcanta. We just want to get the lands out of here. Oh, Castle Ardenvale would be good. So our plan is trying to stay alive. Don't know how. Yeah, I, I honestly think we would have won this if, if I would have countered that. We did not let their other counter spells work, and we could and we had answers for the for their other one, and you know having the Lyra. And, like finding Lyra immediately afterwards. I don't like that we had to put that, that third baffling end down to the bottom. There is one more Cleansing Nova. It's like we know one of these four cards is Cleansing Nova. I 
I guess I should insight. No, because then I, I wouldn't find anything there. Yeah, insight's still not going to find me anything. Well, that, that loss is just because I I tapped too quickly. I was just kind of talking with chat, and I tapped too quickly. And, you know, didn't... Um, <clears throat> didn't counter that that Tempest Gen that I need to. We were up against it there with that Mu Yanling emblem, letting them get all of those cards. I'm not sure Rekindling Phoenix can beat Esper Control by itself. Phoenix doesn't match up that well against the Teferis. Okay. Gideon matches up a little bit better, but let's play this Phoenix they know about. I know matches up better against the 3 mana Teferi, not really the 5 mana Teferi. I mean, it's fairy skills us. We need to move quickly. Uh, no, no, probably not. Ray Day. We got started really late. Um. Hey, Chuckwar. This is my early stream. I, we, you know, like, uh, I'm streaming for like another little less than four hours. But I could play it tomorrow, though. If you'd like. Hold that thought. If you wish to hire just the trick for this. Hmm. I mean, why? Yeah, we're just not we're not accomplishing anything here. We're we're just not accomplishing anything there anymore besides just wasting time.
Thief of Sanity is, I don't know. We have, like Thief of Sanity doesn't match up that well against Teferi. And you know, we have Teferi. Um, I'm not, I'm basically not too worried about Thief of Sanity. If, if we lose to a Thief of Sanity, we lose to it. It's really hard for us just to beat their regular game one deck. And so I'm more focused on trying to beat their regular game one deck. If we lose the Thief of Sanity, it happens. Go, Gideon, go. Share in my light. Go, Gideon, go. I believe in. I'm gonna spook him. Shocking in here just to spook him. Gross. Now we're displaying that I don't have counter magic, but it's not like they're gonna I don't think they have much time to really play around counter magic anymore with their life total. We stole a game. Lyra Dawnbringer. Do I need to play my own Lyras instead of Phoenix? It's just not difficult for them to deal with Phoenix. It's obviously not... It's even easier for them to deal with Lyra. The only... The only reason to play Lyra over Phoenix is because of their Lyra. I'm not sure.
I'm gonna go with the cheaper card. Let's draw spells. Rude. Yeah, you miss Lyra and Orzhov Angels. Well, I was going to be able to counter a Thought Erasure with the Dispute. I am going to be relying on this Castle Arden Veil pretty hard. No, I'm just dead. Here we go. It's a tough one to beat. The turn Trust. turn one duress, turn two thought razor, turn three to fairy. It's hard. It's hard to shut down that to fairy by then. A bad idea. We really don't have much of a chance anymore. They Keep get to draw two cards a turn. No. I've just spent all of my mana to make a one one. Just an awesome hand. <laughs> Mystical dispute was too slow. Too slow. One mana costs too much against duress on turn one. All right, so there we go. So there's Jeskai Control. Um, you know, it's like that's that's kind of the point is to have, you know, Phoenix Black Blade and some sweepers. I think w one of those matches was my fault. I think I I think I could have won the mono blue, but I was just kind of talking with Chad and, and distracted and didn't counter something that I needed to counter. I think we would have had a lot better chance of winning that game three. So could have could have probably been one and three, but um, yeah, I don't I don't think this is the best way to play um, control in historic. Uh, Esper just has, like, Esper has all the counter magic you do, but then also has the discard um, to pair with it. But the thing is, is, like, Gideon and Rekindling Phoenix are just not good enough threats against Esper. They get, they get, they they can deal with those cards pretty easily. And against Aggro, like, especially with Questing Beast in the format, like, Questing Beast really makes Gideon not something you really want to play. We did get to win that one game with Gideon, but... Oh well. <laughs> yep. All right, so there's there's uh, Jeskai Control. There's that that uh, donation deck there. Um, all right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave the comments. Hope you do both of those. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.